Hi, I'm Sherry Johnson from Watauga County Arts Council and Blue Ridge Art Space, and I'm back again to share with you some of the wonderful creative spirit that's been lurking in, all around you in our community. You know, I've been telling you for a long time that there are artists everywhere, and you may not realize they're there, but they're right here beside you. All kinds of artists. That's what we've been showcasing through the Blue Ridge Art Stream. Uh, you know, we've been sampling on things like um, creative woodcrafts. We've been celebrating dance. We've been listening to literary readings. We've been watching someone paint a painting. But we always keep circling back to music because that's one of the things that we really like to showcase in this community. And today we have with us someone that I've just met. His name is Chris McGinnis. Welcome, Chris. Thank you. Good to Glad see to you. you. And, and <laughs> it's good to see you outdoors. It looks like a fun place to be. Oh, absolutely. It's been a great day. Great past few days, I guess. Now, you know, I was talking about the, uh, the creativity around us. And, you know, during the COVID shutdown, I think, if anything, the arts zoomed. I think people that are creative just kind of use that to extra time to go all kinds of places and do all kinds of additional creative things, whatever it is they do. So you're a musician. Did you do more music during that time period, you think? Yeah, I've been pretty productive, actually. Um, I just got back from Georgia. I kind of took a little retreat and just wrote and recorded a bit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of writing, actually. There's not much performing, and I don't have the headache of uh, yeah. having to book my own shows a lot. So it's just, <laughs> I've had much more energy for everything else. Yeah. Now, were you one of those artists that was relying on gigs for an income? Luckily, no. I'm, That's good. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. it was more like, you know, groceries, but not my primary yeah. income. Right. Gas right. and tank to get to work for my actual job. Yeah. Now, you know, you must know Lucas Treba. And uh, Lucas is the one who came to us originally with this idea because he was worried. And Lucas himself is not dependent entirely on gigs, but he knew a lot of artists that were and they were suffering financially through this. So yeah. this was why this series began. And actually, we do have available through this series an opportunity for folks to make a contribution to an artist relief fund that we are then going to allocate out to artists that are applying for funding to kind of help them along. So, uh, so that was kind of some of the backbone behind this whole project. And we've just been really kind of having fun showcasing all these different artists all through this time period. Now, nice. you're a musician. You you do folk music. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And, like rock. Uh, pardon? I said in rock and country and just different stuff. Just okay. guitar. <laughs> okay, so you're a little bit of variety. Okay. Because all yeah, I was sure. given was one word. <laughs> I wasn't given a whole lot of extra description. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, you are, uh, I, I understand, recently graduated from ASU. Congratulations. Thank you. And you got your degree in what? English with a concentration in creative writing and a music minor. Well, that sounds like a really good combination. It, I could see you going a lot of places with that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Not very high, I don't guess, but a lot of places down on the bottom <laughs> well you never know you never it's, it's know that, been great that for, moment for, may strike yeah yeah sure it's been great for life skills i think i'm uh, sure you know my speaking skills and interpersonal skills have certainly improved through reading and writing and you know mm -hmm. i consider it invaluable but just look broadly for opportunities don't be limited Right. That's my absolutely. advice. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you are an English major. That means you must have a whole lot of interest in writing and, and that type of thing. So I'm almost surprised we're not doing a literary segment here instead of a music segment. But sure. uh, uh, when did you start doing music? How'd you get into this whole music group? Um, I mean, I've been playing guitar since probably eighth grade, which mm -hmm. I've been writing, you know, my own stuff since like elementary school long time just some i've always had an interest in right um, you know when we were younger like my reading group had to do like we were required by the county to do like the speech contest or something mm -hmm. and we just had to memorize a speech and perform it and i don't know i don't i don't know how useful it was but one of the categories was like original oratory and i just thought it was easier to memorize my own words than somebody else's and you know i could just say whatever i wanted to mm -hmm. <laughs> so i did that and that's kind of, you know, around sixth grade, I just got really into the Beatles and oh, yeah. figured I'd just start writing songs. <laughs> uh, happened to look back. Well, you know, that was where I was going when I said that the combination of the English and the music and the, and the creative writing was all kind of meshed together because I could see you and you even kind of affirmed what I was just thinking was that the ability to put words together 
makes gives you a whole edge over some not, not knocking anybody but but over some musicians because you've got that creative bend toward the expression through the words and then you've got the music to back that up and and to supplement that and to build that so i could see some real future here i really really can <laughs> thank so, you Hopefully that's we're looking for. forward to hearing you on saturday night at the blue ridge art stream and folks in case you don't know it uh he will be live on facebook at 7 p.m on saturday night uh and then we will also make that available through youtube and our website later on but we really encourage you to listen to the live performance because they're always a little bit more fun a little bit more unique um do you have any idea what you're going to be doing that night yeah i'm probably going to play uh stuff primarily off of my ep i put it out um spring of 2019 mm -hmm. um yeah so with a shorter set i think i'll just focus on stuff that folks can you know, find, I've got some new stuff, but it's not out yet. So <laughs> we'll just stick are, with what they can Are you treating us to something un, uh, un yet released? Is that what you're saying? Oh, I, I was saying the opposite. Actually, I'll treat you to the <laughs> only stuff that's released. I might, okay. I, might play, I might play one or two new songs, I guess, if, if it'll get more views. Uh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. That's what makes sure. this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, what are your songs about these days? Man. I, don't know, I try and write just different things. I think uh, it's about interpersonal relationships, not necessarily romantic, but just, you know, people getting together, mm -hmm. I think. And I, I usually try and I write a lot of story songs just mm -hmm. from like different perspectives, I guess. Um, yeah, they're just like, I don't know. I try and write from a lot of different angles. <laughs> but Sounds I guess, interesting. I, I guess a lot of the, probably isolation and just uh, how we interact with people and how we interact with the world around us and ourselves, really. So that makes me that think makes of something. Sense. Have you have you written anything about the COVID shutdown and the quarantine and all that business? Has any of that crept into your writing? Not really. Uh, <laughs> it's, it, I mean, it's a constant presence already. I don't, it you is. Know, I don't need any more. Of, uh, you know, I, I maybe think you'd some of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Escapism is another great theme that I kind of ride around. So there's been a lot of that, and maybe that maybe the pandemic and uh, not being able to get out as much has has helped that. You know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm not at all surprised to hear you say that. That makes sure. a lot of sense. <laughs> Right well, I'm really, really excited about getting to hear your music and getting a chance to get to know you better through your music. Thank and you. I'm looking forward to seeing you on Saturday night. Uh, we'll meet them again then. And then I hope a lot of folks out there have heard about this and will come and join us. Once again, folks, it's Saturday night at 7 p.m. on the uh, Art Space, Blue Ridge Art Space, Watauga County Arts Council Facebook page. Uh, and then also you can uh, you learn more about him and a lot more about. Uh, this whole process on our uh, website which is watauga-arts.org and don't forget folks you've been used to coming to see us at the corner of Chatelaine State Farm Road you know that building with those cute little blue people on the front porch doing all kinds of artsy things well the place is still sitting there it is not uh, busy right now because we are still shut down we are working on an, a, a reopening plan but because of the structure of the building and some of the constraints that we have to uh, abide by, we're having to develop that. We'll be releasing that information just as fast as we can and getting you back in there just as fast as we can. And I hope you'll join us then. And in the meantime, stay tuned. Keep joining me every week because there's all kinds of art out there. And you just never know what I'm going to show up with the next time. Be seeing you. Thanks again, Chris. Thank you.